Hello, how is everyone? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? It was good, thanks. So what happened? What did you do? Oh, well, I, I worked. Mm -hmm. And I got to charge. And I did many things in my house. For example? Well, I wash my bathroom, bathroom, or, yeah. Yes. And other things in my house. <laughs> I cooked okay. and yeah. I relaxed a little. Okay. I washed the feet. Okay. So a, a relaxing weekend. Yeah, uh, Sunday in the evening, uh, I take a, a nap mm -hmm. and then I wash a movie. Watch the movie. I watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What movie did you watch? Oh, <clears throat> uh, I watch a movie uh, that I um, that I see many times, but I like. It's the name is the Notebook. It's one of my favorite uh, movies. Okay. Yes, it's a very romantic movie. Yeah. I like romantic movies. Okay. Good. All right. Anybody else? How was your weekend? Hello, guys. Um, my weekend is good, really good. It was good. It was good. And uh, Saturday, um, let me see, I rest. Uh, all day, all day. Um, but yesterday I went to run in the morning. Um, later uh, afternoon, I went with my family uh, to buy some stuff. Um, after I watched some series, Korean series with my daughter. <laughs> um, just that. And what did you buy? Did you buy things for the house or for what? So close for my daughter, my wife and me. Ah, okay, close. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right, anybody else? Nobody else had a weekend. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. It's amazing, right? <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, uh, in my case, teacher, um, I was working on Sunday, and my day off was uh, Saturday. I stay home Saturday. Oh, a little strange. Usually, people have Saturday and they they relax on Sunday. <laughs> yes, but we don't we don't have. A uh, one specific day for to resting. I'm sorry. What did you say, Nuri? Uh, we don't have a, a specific day for resting. Ah, oh, okay. So sometimes it's Saturday, sometimes Sunday, sometimes Monday. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 Well, I'm glad. The most important is to have an opportunity to relax. This is when you work all week and you have a lot of activities, it's necessary relax. Oh, yes, it is. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so it's good. Today we're going to begin our unit three. Everybody should be finished, unit one, unit two, and the midterm, correct? No, right. in my case, not the chair. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe tomorrow I finish the middle, okay? Okay, okay. So you're a little bit behind, Alex. Okay, no problem. 
Okay. It's okay. So try to finish for tomorrow. That way it doesn't accumulate a lot of uh, work. Yes. Okay. okay. Anybody else? No? I finished. Okay. I finished. Okay, great. Well, in that case, let's take a look at our unit three, what we're going to learn. Okay. Uh, Nuri, can you read the objective, please? Okay. By the end of this section, participants, will be able to use present unreal conditional with unless, only if, and even if. Correct. So we're gonna learn how to use the unreal conditional. This is the one where we imagine situations. Okay. Okay. So let's watch a small video, how we can use it and the function. Okay. Hi, we're about to talk about present and real conditionals with unless, only if, and even if. Get ready. Present and real conditional with unless, only if, and even if. Unless clauses include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continued lying about it. Only if clauses stress the condition for the result. I would keep it a secret only if I liked my coworker. Even if clauses are followed by unexpected results. Even if I were really broke, I would return the extra money to the bank. The likelihood of an event in the main clause happening is expressed by the conjunctions unless, only if, even if. These conjunctions are used in the conditional clause. If shows the most likelihood. likelihood. Example. I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. Meaning, if I really needed the money, I would take it. Let's take a look to another example. I would take the money only if I really needed it. Meaning, I would take the money only under these particular circumstances. For example, not knowing who had dropped it. And the last example, I wouldn't take the money even if I really needed it, meaning I wouldn't take the money for any reason. Read the following situations. What would you do? You may use unless, even if, only if in your responses. Okay, so the most important part is this. When we're looking at it, we Get have ready. several different examples. We would keep it a secret. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Those examples mean that those are the things that happen in those situations. In those situations, you would do that. Okay. So if you say, I wouldn't tell, I only tell in this situation. That's when we use unless. Unless means only in that situation. The same for only if. I only do this if I like the coworker. That's only if, okay? Even if is it doesn't matter. This means always, always I do this. Even if I were broke, I return the extra money. So is all situation is even if. Only if is specific this situation, not all situations. Even if is all situations. It's okay the difference? All situation is even if correct. Is the only if a specific situation? <laughs> only if is similar, like unless. Unless is in this situation, yeah. only in this specific situation. Okay. Now here's the difference. For example, I go to the beach. I go to the Cameron. Only if I have money specific situation, but it's not correct unless. It's not correct. I go to the common unless I have money. It's only correct. I go to the common if 
I have money. Or sorry, I go to the camera only if I have money. Okay. It's okay. So the difference, you see a little bit the difference. When we talk about unless is change the is specific, but change for negative, normally the ideas. Change for the negative. Yeah, it's a little bit different, the ideas, because not always is negative, but let's look at the examples to make sure it's clear for you. Now let's look here. So I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. So here and here, it's okay, the same meaning. I wouldn't tell the bank only if it were a large amount. This is also the same meaning. But here, I wouldn't keep it a secret unless I liked my coworker. It's okay, I cannot say only if, is specific situations. Here, I would keep it a secret only if my coworker continue lying about it. It's not logical, the idea. You say, I would keep it a, a secret only if. Here is opposite the meaning. I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continue lying about it. So if my coworker continue lying about it, I don't keep it a secret. But if I say I would keep it a secret only if, then is obligation my coworker continue to lie about it. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, no, so-so. So-so. <laughs> so-so, no. So-so. Okay, so-so. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Let me help you quickly because maybe sometimes it's confusing and I spend more time, hang on. Let me eliminate this one, hang on. Let me close that file. Let me share one more time. Okay. So here we have unless. Unless is, uh-huh, let's see, only if. Here is the same. Is the same idea like in Spanish. A menos que and solo si. Is not the same, but they're similar. Mm -hmm. It's okay now? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. So the idea is only specific situations, but it's different the meaning, right? In one situation, only in that. In the other is not, not for that situation. So I would not keep money. I would not keep money unless there was no one, there was no one around. Right? Okay. Because if there is no Dewey, there is no need, then in this situation, I keep the money. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I wouldn't I wouldn't keep the money unless there was no ID. Mm -hmm. Now it's different. I would keep the money only if there was no ID, right? This has to happen. So that's why it's a little bit different because in some situations it's the same and others for the other. For the other situations is not the same, like in the example in the book. So what are we going to do? We're going to try to use it and practice with it. Here we have unless, only if, and even if. With our partner, we have many different situations. Okay, here with our partners, we want to meet, we want to answer the sentence. Which sentence means that Sam will go? You're going to read with your partner which sentences have the same meaning. Sam will go. Which sentence means Sam won't go? Those are the two that you're going to discuss with your partner to make sure you understand. Okay. Okay. Wait, teacher. Okay. okay. All right. Hang on a sec. Let's put a little bit of time. One moment. <clears throat> we only want a few minutes. Okay.
Roxy, you having problems? There you go. Okay, you ready? Yes. Good, let's take a look and make sure that we understand clearly. So number one, which is the same as Sam will go? A, B, C. A, B, C, okay. And which sentence is Sam won't go? D. Letter D. Only D, okay. Yeah.
there we go, very good. As we can see, that is the answer. So you can see that it's a little bit different in the negative form compared to the positive. In the positive, well, we can have many different ways to say it, right? Right. In the negative, in yeah. the negative is going to be a little different. Yes? Yes. Okay, great. So now we're gonna practice our conversation. We're going to talk with our partners and we're going to answer some questions explaining and using the vocabulary. What are the questions? The questions are in the chat. You can find the link that you just click on. So click on the link, make sure you have the questions. Okay, and let's try. Marvin, can you ask me one question for as an example? Okay. If you had only 24 hours to live, what would you do? Uh, if I had 24 hours to live, I would spend my time with my family unless I had the opportunity to get a lot of money to help them. I use unless. If I had 24 hours to live, uh, I would... Uh, uh, I would only spend time with my family if uh, I, all of my family were together and I love them. Only if, right? The idea is use the vocabulary to answer the questions and give the explanation to your partners. Yes, the, the second question is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. So yeah. for this activity, we only have only 10 minutes. The idea is not to ask all the questions, only ask the questions that are more important for you with your partners, the ones that for you are more interesting, and then we practice, okay? Okay, okay. Remember, practice the grammar. If, unless, only yes. if, these are the ones. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right, let's do it.
Okay, any questions? No. No, pretty easy, right? Yes. The important is only use the words and it's only to describe imaginary situations. What do you do in those situations? In my, in my opinion, that question to give our reflection to our, for example, we, uh, we are talking about a God, a seventh question you, you read, mm -hmm. and it's explain uh, what kind of question said a God, right? And someone explain about the kind of question they ask a God. But it's a, it's a good because let, let, in my case, let me ref, reflection uh, to do something about what happened in, in X situation, for example, in the poverty in, 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 in our planet. There are a lot of poverty and what happened that in, in the uh, opinion about that. Okay, good. And that's the idea. The idea is all is correct. The important is that you give your opinion. You give your answer. Anything is anything can be correct. The important is, is your opinion. And you use it with if, only if, unless, those situations. Anybody else? No, no I, I know, but I feel that Flor Navarro she wants to say something. I know. I Lord. feel that. Okay. <laughs> Lord, what happened? <laughs> That's why I don't open my camera. <laughs> what happened, Floyd? Do you want it to say no. something? No, I just want to say that some questions were very deep. <laughs> like the one was Luis talking about, uh, what, what would you ask God um, if you wanted to ask something? So we were talking about that. And actually, it was hard to add the vocabulary because it, it's so deep that you forget about the vocabulary. <laughs> You're immersed in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I would ask God a question only if I had the ability to understand his answer. Yes. And, and you know, Ivania, Ivania told me, hey, I promised I... I say something only if Flor Navarro talking. Okay, Ivania, say something. Okay, okay. You are a liar. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Ivania? You are going to say something. <laughs> Alexander uh, wasn't in my group. What happened? He's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we, we share, like um, Luis and Flor said, um, we share our opinions about God. Uh, I like the, the, uh, the question about what son uh, can describe your life. And I say, at, at this moment, the only son that I can, uh, how do you say, relationship with my life? Relate. Relate with my life is uh, a, a part of a song that I that I listen to on Instagram. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yes, only that. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm happy. I'm happy that you had the chance to ask questions, and that's the objective. The objective of English is to make you think, not only repeat, not only memorize. The idea is for you to be able to explain in another language your ideas and your thoughts. So it's excellent that you're using the vocabulary and you are expanding your concepts. Now we're going to do to our listening exercise. Here, I'm gonna share my screen. We are going to listen and answer some questions. We're gonna to listen to Aaron. And we want to answer is true, false, or they don't say. True, false, or they don't say. This is 3.3. 3.3 if you want to do in, in your platform. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Finders keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leanne talking about finding something. 
Are these statements true or false, or does the person not say? Check the correct answer. 1. Aaron I was with my son at the supermarket. He was about eight years old at the time, and he found a wallet on the floor. Inside it was a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollars! He picked it up and got all excited. In fact, neither of us could really believe it. He started talking about all the things he would buy. Right away I told him that we couldn't keep it. He seemed disappointed at first. We started asking people if they had lost anything. After asking around for a while, we hadn't found anyone, and I was beginning to think we'd asked everyone. But then, as we were walking to the front of the store, I noticed a man, actually my son noticed him, pacing back and forth, shaking his head and muttering something. I thought it was probably his wallet, so we asked him, and it was. My son felt better when he saw how relieved the man was about getting his money back. That was our good deed for the day, and the man gave my son $10 as a reward for returning the wallet. 2. Leanne I was on a train. So, first, number one and two. What's number one? True. True. Okay, and number two? False. 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 Okay. Here Let's listen for number $20. three and four. Three and four. Less, doesn't say the number doesn't three. Say. Okay. Which one? The number four. False. Okay, let's listen and find out. Mm -hmm. Train from Washington to New York last month when I found a book lying under my seat. It was so strange. It was just a little book, not an expensive one. It was probably only worth a few dollars. Well, I really wanted to read it. It was pretty interesting, and by the end of the trip, I was still reading it, so I decided to keep it. I took it home and finished it. Now, every time I see it on my bookshelf, I wonder if I should have taken it or not. I mean, do you think I should have returned it to the train conductor? Who knows? Like I said, it wasn't a very expensive book, so I didn't really feel guilty about taking it. What is number three? Doesn't say. How about the owner of the book probably didn't care much. Okay, and number four? <laughs> False. False. False, okay. Let's take a look. Exactly. Doesn't say false, number four. Number two is false and eight, number one is true. Good. It's okay? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So what would you do if you found a wallet with $100? Uh, return it. Return it. Why? Uh, well, because... Um, I'm honest. And okay. I, I don't mm -hmm. want I don't want to have a a money that doesn't does that isn't mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's the idea. The next activity is not only answer yes or no. It's not enough in English to say yes, no. It's necessary in advance to give your reason. It's necessary to explain why. Yes or why no? So in our next topic, we're going to be looking at ethical. Here, 3.4, 3.4. Ivania, please read the objective. In this section, participants will be able to practice and use vocabulary to talk about ethics. Ethic. Ethics. Good, ethics. ethics. Okay, Ivania, what are ethics? Um, is uh, do the do the things in the right form or 
or uh, act uh, like the, in, the, in the correct way. All right, good <laughs> idea. Yeah, that's a good, Your that's values, a good way to explain it. Uh, tell me again. Uh, I don't know if that work for your values or correct for your values. Good for values. That's nice. Here we're going to see a small video, three point five. Hi, are you ready to learn new words? Notice how they change their meaning with some prefixes. Listen to the following words, then listen again and notice how they change in meaning when using a prefix. You may make a chart in your notebook and copy the new word. Acceptable, agreeable, approving, ethical, fair, honest, legal, logical, rational, responsible, scrupulous. Trustworthy. It's okay. Are there any words you don't know? Trustworthy. Yes, Which word? Fair. Trustworthy. Ah, trustworthy. Someone that you can believe. Someone that is honest. This is trustworthy. Okay. Like like a honest. Similar like honest. Correct. Fair. Fair is the person that balances the situation, is correct for the two situations. This is fair. Okay. What is the meaning? Sorry. Fair. Yeah. What fair is, the meaning? is the person that is balanced the two situations, is not for one person or for another person. They look for the balance. This is fair. Those are adjectives too? Correct. All of these. All of these are adjectives to describe people. Approving. Agreeable. Sorry, which one? Approving. Approving. Let me go back. Try a list. Okay. Someone that accepts something that you say, oh, that is approving, is somebody that they agree with the situation. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. Approving. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Legal, logical, mm -hmm. rational, responsible, scrupulous, scrupulous. trustworthy. unacceptable, disagreeable, disapproving, unethical, unfair, dishonest, illegal, illogical, irrational, irresponsible, unscrupulous, untrustworthy. So here we have the opposite of the other words. These are the opposite. So if somebody is logical, the opposite is illogical. Logical. If you do something legal, the opposite is illegal. illegal. It's okay? These are yes. the antonyms, antonyms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Use the vocabulary words to answer these questions. Number one, would you ever make an international call from your work to save money? Number two, would you ever play a practical joke on your friends? Okay, we're not going to answer those questions, but we are going to answer other questions. The same questions about ethics, about you. Do you have scruples? Or maybe for you, it's not a big deal. It's not a problem. For example, in some people, some people get photocopies in the office. Why? To save money, for, to help their children. Some people take pen, pencil, whatever. Why? Because they say, ah, it's not a big deal. Not ethical, but the people do. 
Okay. So in this moment, we have many questions. Again, look in the chat. In the chat, we're going to have the link. Oh, one moment. Here we, there we go. It's okay? Yes. All right, let's go. Ivania, you okay?
Okay. So tell me, which questions did you discuss? Which one did you find interesting? Jose Roberto run. I don't know why. He ran away from our, our room. Yes. Hey. No, I, 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 was, I, I was in, in your room, but I don't know why. I, I left soon, did it, and um, put me with Doris and, and Ivania. But it was an in, interesting question that we were discussing. But we are the um, best room. <laughs> yeah, the last, one, the last one is going to be a, a, mis a mystery forever. I can say it while we talk in the room, it stays in the room. <laughs> no, I because can't... Alex is a liar, that's the reason. Okay. <laughs> Robert, how often do you lie? Every day. <laughs> Every day, <laughs> when I put in the in the in the WhatsApp team in the WhatsApp group, like teacher, I yeah. can stay, I, I can connect to the class tonight because my internet is failing. <laughs> I'm lying. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, I, teacher. No problem. No problem. Well, okay. guys, thank you so much for connecting. I appreciate it. Tomorrow we're gonna practice again more conditionals unreal conditionals and ethics okay okay all right, all right guys thank you so much thank for you. Coming. see you thank bye. you good night bye good night good night, good night everybody bye bye, -bye.